Hey guys, PG Design here. So today we're going to be looking at a little bit of Inventor 2012 or whichever version you have because they're all fairly similar. So before we start, Inventor is basically a 3D modeling program that you can use to render images or animations. There's a few other things you can do with Inventor, but we're not going to be getting into those today. So if this is the first time opening the uh, program, you're going to want to go to Projects. You're going to hit New, New Single User Project, hit Next and then name it whatever you want and hit finish. So I'm not going to hit finish because I already have a project to open. So I'm just going to select that project and hit done. So up here you've got the ribbon, you've got a few options, new open project. So we're going to go to new. And in this little dialog box there's a few different options. You've got sheet metal part, uh, standard drawing, standard assembly, and then you've got your standard part and wheeled mount assembly, which is just a sheet metal assembly pretty much. So we're going to start off by selecting standard part. So it's going to take a minute to open, and once it's open, it's going to open you into your sketch view. So sketch view is just like basic AutoCAD where you can draw in 2D. And you've got all the same functions up here, like line, circle, arc, rectangle. You can create all sorts of shapes, draw whatever you want in here. It also gives you your rectangular and circular array, mirror functions. You can also create constraints for your lines, uh, set dimensions for them. Move, copy, all these, the same same functions pretty much as AutoCAD 2D. So we're going to start off by creating a basic shape, just a circle. We'll start off with a circle for now. So you can start at the middle. It doesn't really matter what size. We're going to go with, say, two, two inches. So an interesting thing about this, uh, these constraints up here is that you can set a size. So if you select a dimension, select the circle, it gives you the dimension of the circle. Say it's, uh, it's the wrong size. You didn't want it to be two. Double click on it, type in 4, there we go, back to 4. So we're going to keep it at 2. And you can do this for any shape, any any line or anything, as long as your other constraints are right. So we're going to go to Finish Sketch. And this is going to bring us into another view. This is our 3D modeling view. So just to give us... So up here you've got the ribbon. The ribbon has all sorts of different things that we're going to go over later. It's got Extrude, Revolve, Loft, Sweep, Rib. All these things are different ways you can model a shape, and if you've never used it before, you might want to just create some simple shapes and play with these. So we're going to start off by selecting Extrude. And it's automatically going to select your your sketch because it's the only one that's there. So there's a few different options that comes up in this dialog box. You can go either extrude it forward, backwards, halfway in both directions, or you can select the distances that you want to extrude it in whichever direction. So we're just going to go with one inch, that seems good to me. So then hit OK. And basically this is all that Extrude does, is it pulls out your shape in a 3D fashion. So over here we've got the View Cube. You can look at it from whichever face you want, depending on where you, which part of the cube you select. This is very interesting. Then you go out here, you've got this little pull down box where you need to put in perspective view or orthographic view. Here you've got this uh, this wheel. If you select the orbit tool, you can rotate this in any direction, pan. A few other interesting things to note is if you select F4 and drag with your mouse, you can rotate. F2 is pan. If you want to create another 2D sketch, maybe you can select 2D sketch up here in the corner, or there's also an interesting thing about Inventor is you can right click and it gives you a bunch of different options right from your mouse. So you don't have to go up to the ribbon every time you want to select something. So if you right click, you can select one of these options. We're going to go with New Sketch. Select the face you want to make a new sketch on, and voila, back into your sketch mode where you have all these options for drawing again. So we're going to put a rectangle now, starting here. Just like that. Finish sketch. And you're back into your model view again. And now you have these options. Say we want to extrude this one. It'll pop out one inch. We can say we want it to go backwards and create a square into our cylinder. Just select this. You can rotate around, take a look. Say you want it to go two inches that way. But you don't want it to cut through your your uh, cylinder. Just go up here and instead of selecting the, the subtract one, select the add one and it'll create a solid instead of subtracting. Say you want just the intersecting section, hit intersect and it'll just give you that short little 
inter the places where both shapes intersect pretty much. So we're just going to go with the this one, hit OK. Perfect. And this is the shape that you come up with. So right now we're just doing some very basic stuff. So a few other interesting functions here. We've got fill it. This is very straightforward. Just select your edge and it'll automatically fill it to whatever distance you want. You can play with some of these variables and you can see what they do. I'm not going to touch those right now. So that's pretty much the basics of going from a sketch to model space and creating some very simple sketches. In the next video we're going to go over some of the some of these modeling tools here and we're going to teach you how to use them to their full capabilities. Um.